Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of dismal Disney. Yeah, yeah. So yesterday, uh, there was another Skyliner accident. Now, I want to say it wasn't that big a deal, honestly. It was more an uh, inconvenience for those that were stuck up on the, you know, up hanging in the air for like an hour. Yeah, that's happened before. But yeah. <laughs> But those vehicles come into that to those stations really hot. They come in fast. And apparently, I don't know what happened. One got caught up and it slammed into the other one, like what we saw in 2019. Um, glass got broken. Apparently, nobody was in them and no one was hurt, which I find hard to believe because the lines look pretty long. But mm -hmm. they said that there was nobody in them and no one was hurt. Hmm. Um, they were essentially distancing them. I don't know. So apparently, they smashed into each other. There was some, you know, glass and things broken. And what happened was this was at the Hollywood Studio station connected to Caribbean Beach. They had to get the people off there at Caribbean Beach, but I guess it took all, like an hour or so for some people to get, you know, taken off the Skyliner. Yeah. And then people said it was a hot day, so they felt bad for them. And uh, a couple hours later, it was backing up and running. So, you know, the important thing here was nobody got hurt. That's what matters. Um, but this is a second accident. I mean, all these considered, it's only, I think there's more that we know that we ever see about them. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that because it seems like a lot of these things disappear and Disney only addresses them when they get caught on camera. Because mm -hmm. uh, back in the day, it used to be that all kinds of horrible things would happen at Disney, but they would make it magically go away. It would never hit the press. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they would, you know, compensate the families or whatever. And it just kind of went away. Yeah, the 2019 one, you never heard. No. There's people that were supposed to be, you know, ambulances were brought in, people yeah. were there for hours. A lot of people were, were, were very upset. And do you notice how as soon as it was over, you never heard anything else about it again? Yeah, that's the Disney magic. That's the Disney way. That's the Disney difference. So before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 186,000 subs. Mm -hmm. uh, we do talk about Disney. We've worked uh, in and around the Disney company mm -hmm. for years, go to the theme parks quite often. Uh, we're not the Disney haters people make us out to be. We no. actually have quite a large collection of Disney stuff, and we've given a lot of money to Disney. And you were even writing about Disney when you were like sixth grade. Yes, I have a book. I'll have to put it up. I, I wrote it when I was in sixth grade, and um, my son found it today. And he was very, he was loved it. He was tickled pink. He was reading the whole thing. He's like, you need to take, you need to take pictures of this and put it out so people can read it. So maybe I'll do that. But yes, I wrote it. I even wrote a book about Disney when I was, when I was 12. Yeah. So there you go. That was, that was a taste of things to come. Right. Uh, we do spend a lot of money on Disney. People are yes. like, oh my God. It's like, yeah, we Sorry, we actually, do. we have actually have. Uh, it's, so, it's so weird because we have probably spent more money on Disney in the last couple of years than the people who call us Disney haters. Yes, have probably true. Uh, I, I'm being honest, like just <laughs> just looking over the course of our, our lifetime, the number of trips and passes and all that that we've taken, the merchandise we've It's we not bought. a brag, it's for a job. It's yeah, probably, yeah, but I'm but just saying, like these people that call us, you know, Disney haters uh, themselves probably don't spend as much I as, just think as it's we funny. have. But anyway, back to the point, which is the Skyliner. Yeah. Um, you know, all things considered, it hasn't been that bad. We had that really big one accident that happened, um, which again, no one was, well, for the most part, no one was hurt on. People were upset and someone apparently met at a heart issue that was taken away. But we don't know because that all got up under the rug. Yeah. But um, it hasn't been that bad. I think there's been, there's been a hiccups here and there. Um, but, you know, you have the same issues on the buses. You have the same issues on the monorails yeah. and things like that. So if I'm being fair, it's not that big a deal. But a lot of people were afraid of the Skyliner because you're hanging from, a, you know, a cable and you're up in the sky and it's scary a lot of people our daughter won't even get on it um because for a lot of people it's really scary so um having an accident and hearing about it it sounds sometimes worse than it actually is but in this case yeah glass was broken actually broken um the one person i i had done a this one i did earlier go to the one i did okay if you go to, to the one i did because scroll down there's a video here by eat trade travel on YouTube, and if you look at, the, at their video, they take a, a, a zoomed-in version of oh, okay. the the gondola cars and stuff, so you can see. I don't know if you can see it in this picture, but like some of the glass, the oh, glass yeah, you is broken. Can see, yeah. um, but like you can see, most people it, it, there was no one in it apparently, and it's on the outside, so I don't think anything major. It's not like what we had with the one in in uh, 2019, which I think is where is that one? It's a far cry. From this was 2019. Oh, the pile up. Yeah, yeah. That was... This was this is not you know anywhere near the same thing as you know this. Yeah. Um. 
Uh, yeah, because I mean that that one now the 2019, which we we covered that. Um, and look, you know, they're going to have hiccups when they start. That was more than a hiccup in 2019. They the 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 scandal. The scandal there was that they did have an accident. Disney tried to downplay it, and they tried to shut up media outlets uh, from talking about right. it. Right, and back then too, I know that some of the people that were like you know safety didn't think it was ready. Yeah. Um. That we'd heard that from multiple people that the Skyliner they thought was was not ready. Um, they were still testing it. They did throw it together pretty damn quick. I mean, they're like, "Hey, we're doing the Skyliner," and then like next week, you see the poles go up almost. Personally, you know, like, I don't like it. I think it looks. I think it was much prettier without the stupid cars swinging everywhere. Yeah, but that's just me. Um, go ahead. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not really a fan of dangling on a yeah you haven't table. been on it have you no i haven't just, just uh i mean i i would ride it but th- this is going to happen now the worst case scenario obviously is going to be if somebody gets stuck up there during a, a thunderstorm mm-hmm. lightning you know you're in a metal box uh suspended in midair you know uh yeah so i mean that could potentially happen one of these days i mean i, I get why they did it the buses have been packed I think at this point, personally, if you're going to Disney, I would drive. So, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I mean, this is the thing about Disney, though. We, we talked about this before, that when these sorts of things happen, they, they tend to disappear pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, more so than other companies. Uh, it, you know, it does seem like Disney, they, they even said with the 2019 accident, they were like, hey, yeah, everybody's compensated. Um accordingly and then you never heard anybody right because you were probably allowed to you probably had to sign legal agreements that you know if you said anything you're in trouble because i was so surprised we weren't hearing anything from anyone no because they probably said well we'll give you passes we'll give you whatever you want just sign this but oh by the way you can never talk well, about it i know it. When we got yeah. stuck on on the monorail that time and that was the time the piece fell off that yeah we, and it was literally sparking and smoking and they kept saying there's nothing wrong <laughs> it's nothing like wrong. hell it wasn't um, they had to turn the power off because it was sparking and smoking. And uh, we had to sit up there for a while with no air conditioning. And there are windows you can pull out. People did pull them out. Ours wouldn't come out. Ours wouldn't open for whatever reason. But they did actually pull the windows out to get air because it yeah. was hot. And um, they, they towed us back. And when we got towed back, they never had a sign anything. They had ambulances there and they had Gatorade and water and cast members there ready in case anybody needed help. And um, they got us on a bus and got us where we were going. We got fast passes, but not for the good stuff. And um, But they never had a sign anything or, you know... Uh, I don't know. Some people wanted money. I know the guy yeah, in front of us. Yeah, he came off. He'd been making the money side of his hand. He was like, making the money side of his fingers. Like, you're going to pay up Disney. And they might have. It wasn't I mean, a big, I, that big no. a deal. It wasn't like what happened in September for those poor people in 2019 on the Skyliner. Well, the, the problem the problem with the monorails just in general is that the, the stuff is, is antiquated. I mean, the monorails right. should have been replaced a decade they ago. They should have replaced the monorails before they did this. Yeah, that was – people were angry. They said they took away – they were going to build a theater on Main Street. And they actually had the sidewalk and everything ready mm-hmm. for it. It was going to be like behind Main Street. It was a really cool concept. It was sort of like a whole nother little area of Main Street, which I, I would have loved. I, I think it would have been pretty cool. And then they pulled the plug on that saying they were going to probably spend the money on the monorails. And instead, they they turn around and they put the Skyliner in, which I don't think has taken any burden off of the monorails or the no. buses. It's still crowded i mean it's okay yeah. you can't get many people in a car i don't no. know i just don't think it's that big a deal it takes forever it actually takes a lot longer than you'd think we you actually walked you and 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 pinky boo actually walked from epcot to hollywood studios the same amount of time it took us to get from one station to another to another to get to this to get to yeah hollywood studios. it's a long it's, walk it, it, it's slow going on the on the skyliner until it comes in the station then the thing whips around like crazy yeah but um Another thing they didn't do with these gondolas is they didn't put air conditioning in them. Yeah. Because they said, oh, we are flying through the air. It's going to keep it cool. And it does as long as you're moving. Until you stop. Um, So if you're stuck there an hour and it's hot in a metal box and you can't do emergency, like open the windows in this, I don't think you you could in the monorail um, because I'm afraid people are going to fall out. I just, I I just, that would have been an awful uncomfortable hour. I think about the cars I had when I was a teenager. A young adult, my my crappy cars that usually didn't have air conditioning. And yeah, the car was great if you just roll the windows down. But as soon as you hit a stoplight and it was 95 degrees out, yeah, you know, you just started like to dying. drip sweat. It was So and I'm sure that it smell, some of them are going to smell as good as the, mo- as the monorail. Yeah. Monster. But anyway, there was another accident on the Skyliner. It was nowhere near as bad as the one in 2019 uh, that was happened not long after it opened. 
But, you know, another case where these cars are smashing into each other, and that's the problem. It's like these cars come into the station and crashing into each other. And they're going to have to figure out why that keeps happening. Yeah. Yeah. I know there are some people that have flat said they're not going to ride them. Like, I know. They, they don't want to ride them. So. Oh, and one more thing before we wrap this up. It's related but not related. People Mover. Speaking of vehicles crashing into oh, each other. Oh, yeah. Okay. The People Mover has been down since before the pandemic shut the parks down, okay? Because the vehicles kept slamming into each other. Well, good news. It sounds like, uh, because Jeff, uh, the Valley, Val Hay, yeah. Valley, whatever, the president of Disney World said they're opening the People Mover the end of the week. So this weekend, the People Mover will be reopening. Um, hopefully they got it fixed so the cars aren't slamming into each other on that attraction either. Yeah, hopefully we don't get rid of the people mover. They got rid of it in Disneyland. They mm -hmm. turned it into like rocket rods or something, and then they, they just like got rid of it. And it's so weird to see the track and there's no... Well, this one, they have spent all kinds of time redoing it and adding new things. I think they put new things on the track and, and all the stuff they've done to it. I don't think they're going to get rid of it anytime soon. I hope not. Um, our kids love the people mover. I like the people mover. Yeah. It's what we always do it. Every time. I mean, if it's open. It's so cheesy, but like I, I love, love I love the People Mover and I love uh, Carousel of Progress, you know, that area of Tomorrowland. And you know damn well they're going to blow through the park and be like, Carousel of Progress is problematic. We need to get rid of it. Probably. You know, you know and then they probably will. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that because it's kind of related, but not, but, uh, you know, that way we're ending it on a little bit of good news. There you go. Um, so, so the People Mover will move again. It is moving again. Woo! All right, so we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.